What's going on, everybody? I'm here for the PepsiCo Game Day Grub Match, facing off against two awesome chefs doing two things that I love the most, food and football. Let's do this. Hey guys, welcome to PepsiCo Game Day Grub Match. I am Jet Tila. Are you guys ready to get down today? Yeah. So you're gonna have 30 minutes to create your game day dish, and you have to use at least two PepsiCo products. The theme of the challenge will be finger foods. Each dish is gonna be judged on three categories. Taste, presentation, and your creative use of the PepsiCo products. And your judges are celebrity chef and restaurateur, Ann Burrell, former Pittsburgh Steelers wide receiver and Super Bowl 40 MVP, Heinz Ward, and PepsiCo executive chef, Stephen Khalid. The stakes are very high. The winner of the PepsiCo game day grub match gets to go to Houston, Texas for a full on Super Bowl 51 experience. So before we get cooking, we're gonna play ladder talk. The winner will get an advantage in this competition. I'd never heard of ladder toss before, but I was pretty confident going into it. Each are gonna throw three bolas. The first rung is seven, the second rung is five, third rung is three. The person closest to 21 will win the game. I think it's ladies first. I'll show you ladies how it's done. Yeah, nice. Five. All right. Yes! Yeah, son of a 17! <laughs> That's a respectable <laughs> score. Frankie. I remember how I did it, okay? Yes, I remember. Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah. You better hit sevens. Oh, okay. You better hit seven. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. There you go. You ready for this? Go for it. Oh, three. Oh. Yes, 10. Wait, wait. You could beat her, but you need a seven. Huh? No! Oh, the pressure got to me. Little I know, Megan was the MVP of her ladder toss team in high school. Shocker. So Megan, this is how the advantage works. You're gonna pick one extra ingredient that both of these gentlemen will have to use in their cook. Come on, let's do this. Pick something that's gonna mess with their heads. I'm feeling something in this area. Oh, Tostitos Chunky Salsa. This is actually very helpful. I oh, appreciate perfect. it. Oh, yeah. perfect. I cannot wait. You guys ready? Yes. 30 minutes to shop the PepsiCo pantry and cook your best finger food dish. Get ready, set, go! <laughs> Whoa! She's got the big gun toes! I didn't, I didn't even watch for you. I need those. I'm not greedy. Smell you later. I am definitely nervous. My style of cooking is sometimes not as refined as other chefs, so that's definitely a concern that I have here. This recipe is gonna blow everyone away because it's never been done. We got a faulty unit here. I think it might be the user. Yeah. Negative. It's not the machine. Josh, what's going on, man? So onion rings, everyone loves onion rings. You eat yeah. them with your fingers, obviously, but yep. no one has ever thought about stuffing the inside of the onion ring, coating it, and then deep frying it. Delicious. Right. Good luck, man. I appreciate that. Kill it. I'm a sabra. Yo, Frankie, don't forget to use your salsa, bro. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Don't worry. Megan. Hi. So what do you think about your competition? I think it's the worst. <laughs> you got a lot of competition out there, by the way. They both scare me. They're so hip. Do you see them? They're all, like, <laughs> styled and everything. Let me try this dip. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, 15 minutes. Hey, guys. What's up? What's up? How you hanging in over there? I'm done. <laughs> Actually? Yep. I already won. I'm going to Super Bowl. Should just stop cooking. Competition's over. That's not looking so beautiful, is it? Maybe we should go old world style here. All right, here we, now we need to crush these chips up. I'm thinking let's grind the Stacy pita chips, but let's not just put them in a food processor. Let's put them in a pestle and mortar so that I can get that extra fine powder. This is very therapeutic. Just trying to get these together. Mortar and pestle? What are you doing? I'm trying to crush chips. Leave me alone. I'm grinding away, and Megan's there in the corner taunting me and heckling me. I didn't know that was going to happen. If I would have known, I would have prepared some heckles. Any chance there's food processors anywhere? Chefs, 
Five minutes left. I'm thinking, am I even gonna have time to coat these onion rings and deep fry them? Maybe this was a bad decision. All right, let's stuff these bad boys. Chugga, 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 choo choo. I'm just waiting for those things to bake. It's not that I'm, not that I'm done. Ooh, ooh. Is that not the best onion ring you've ever seen? That looks pretty epic. I got like no time left. I gotta make one more of these things. 30 remaining seconds. Ooh, they look so nice and golden brown. I'll try that at home. Some fancy tailgate. Five, four, three, Two, one, that is it. Woo. Plates down, hands up. All right, let's take our dishes to the judges. All right, guys, it's time for the judging. Heinz Ward, Super Bowl 40 MVP and a pro bowler, like being in the same room and being judged by him was awesome. Josh, why don't you tell the judges what you made? Judges, I made today a stuffed onion ring. It's filled with sour spinach dip mixed with tostito salsa and covered in crushed Stacy pita chips. Well, Heinz, why don't you tell us what you think? Very tasty. A lot of flavors going on in my mouth. Is it hard to make? Because it seems like you got a whole lot going on. It's literally just cutting an onion, stuffing it, and then fry it up. Celebrity chef Anne Burrell. Honestly, for something in the finger food category, I don't find this very finger food friendly. This, to me, is definitely a knife and fork dish. That being said, it's really tasty. It just scratches that game day food itch. Chef Steven. Take it for granted I love the flavors. Those are all PepsiCo products. How would you readjust the dish pursuant to Anne's comment about it not being finger food? The finger food is very simple. I can just use a smaller onion. No big deal. I feel like a cipollini might be a better onion for this kind of situation. Yeah, that's actually a good call. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she does this for a living. <laughs> Megan, do you want to tell the judges what you made this round? So on the white plate is a smashed sweet potato with feta and a pomegranate drizzle. I used original Sun Chips to coat the potatoes and then I baked them for a little bit. And I used Izzy pomegranate soda and I reduced it with balsamic and thyme and garlic and that's the little drizzle on the top. Love the way you balanced off the sweet with the salty of the feta, and the herbs are just right. I would like to see a little more flavor. The sweet potato sort of drowns out the rest of the flavors. For me and my football buddies. You guys aren't gonna crush some sweet potato bites? No, I don't, I don't think <laughs> this would be our go-to. I feel like this is my wife. She would love this dish. <laughs> and she wouldn't eat anything else, but yeah. she would stick to this I made dish this for your wife, actually. <laughs> yeah. All right. I am gonna agree with you. Like, I would eat one and be like, all right, where's the game day food? If I was having a fancy Super Bowl party, I feel like I would serve this. Great. Last but never least, Frankie, you want to tell them what you made today? There are Quaker oats and Sabra falafel with mint and walnut. And then on the side, we have Sabra hummus with Tostito salsa that I spiced up. Frankie, did you say you have Sabra hummus in the balls themselves? Yes, sir. You had an opportunity to transform that hummus to make it a little more than just product right out of the container. I would like to see you take a little more effort in that part of the dish. The flavor of it is great. The texture of it is a bit dry and crumbly. Falafel? Yes. Falafel, yes. You have to put yourself in a Super Bowl in town. I think this is just a wrong choice for a tailgate. Fair enough. Thank you very much, judges. We're going to be starting with Frankie. So, judges, please reveal your scores now. That is 17. All right, judges, please reveal your scores for Josh. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. I mean, wait till we see Megan's scores. <laughs> Megan, that means you want to beat 25. Please reveal your scores. So close. That means, Josh, you have won Battle Finger Foods. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. All right, guys, this is the moment of truth. The scores from all three rounds have been tallied. The winner of the PepsiCo Game Day Grub Match is... Josh! Yeah. You are going to Super Bowl wow. 51. Yes. Congratulations, yes. man. Thanks, man. Thank this you. This is yours. Woo. What? Oh, you wow. kidding me? Yeah. Yay. Yes. I did it, Mom. Woo! This 
is so awesome. Your boy is going to the Super Bowl. I seriously had such a blast. I would do it every single year until the end of time. Thanks so much for joining us. For more recipes, go to gamedaygrubmatch.com. See you later. Yeah! <laughs>